Good evening, brothers and sisters. Well, my apologies for not getting a video out yesterday because I'm studying and trying to pull together the calendars and many other things, but I've made a decision to stick with mainly the Shemitah cyclists because they're so important to you. Now, if you're new to the channel, it is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God, whereby if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. You are saved. If you don't know what I'm talking about, firstly, go back to them two bits of scripture that's been posted. Stop, read and meditate both bits of scripture, the Gospels and Romans 10, 9 and 10. OK, they're simple. If you can, if you do this, you, you are saved. If you believe in your heart, Romans 10, 9 and 10, you confess that Jesus, Lord, there is no one can save you but Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And watch this video, because this is end times. Every born again, alive, uh, born again and alive Christian who reads the word should be into the book of Revelations by now. If you want to be saved, just type in, I want to be saved in the comments and we'll come back to you. If a place you can go, the disciple server, okay? But I've got some, uh, first of all, I just want to view the Smita cycles and explain on the base. Yes, I've done graphs. I'm working on graphs. That's why I didn't do a video. I think better to get um, some indicative um, information up on the screen first. So we're going to look and explain a little of the Smita cycles. Now, the Smita cycles are seven years each, okay, of seven years, seven years so we're calling them, we're not going right back to the beginning. This is, I'll go back, back to the beginning and explanation, but we haven't got a graph going back. But it's quite astonishing what happens within each Smita cycle. We'll do all that, but just as an explanation of the cycles and where we are in these cycles, Israel was born in 1948, which would be cycle minus one, okay? They were born, that's very significant, and there's four blood moons in that period which is very, very interesting. But remember, the blood moons are signs to the Jews, okay? So cycle one was the first full cycle of Israel actually being a nation, a seven-year cycle. And then we'll find troubles, but let's not make it complicated. This is a way of an explanation. Where are we today? We're in the 10th cycle of seven years. Each cycle has six years and the seventh being a sabbatical year, okay? A sabbatical year. So each one of these has a sabbatical year. We are now 2015 to 2022. We are in the sabbatical year from 2021 to 2022. Very interesting. We could go at any time, is what I'm saying. We could go at any time. And everything's pointing. There's plenty of videos out now that you can... Um, combine together and see that we're very, very close. Even the Twin Towers fall, which was 20 years ago, happened within a sabbatical year. We know that the Lord uses the, the seven-year periods within the, the Shemitah cycles to raise or destroy a nation. Okay, things are ringing. I'll be on there afterwards. But the one that interested me, what caught me, my sister Cal from discord you know when you type in by the way i want to be saved if you don't know the lord type in i want to be saved the channel is about the promotion of the gospel that's its first stance okay so type in i want to be saved and we'll come back to you but i first want to read where i where the shemitah cycles were issued to moses okay in leviticus 25 8 and thou shalt thou and thou shalt number seven sabbaths of years unto thee seven times seven years okay seven times seven years which is we'll go on to and the space of the seven sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years the forty and nine years is the jubilee which if i ever find an accurate date i'll fit it in and i quite think it's going to be around about the 11th 11th speeder cycle okay D don't write to me it's very complicated i don't think unless someone actually knows then please don't come in but i'm glad if you do know this was written by moses some say under yahweh's instruction of course it was under 
Yahweh's construction. But then I got Deuteronomy 15, 1. At the end of every seven years, make release. At the end of every seven years, make release. Well, we're only, we're in the 10th cycle on the seventh year. What? What? Thinking that the 11th cycle on 22 will be the tribulation. 10th cycle until 22. In 2022, the seventh sabbatical year in 2015 to 2022, we're in it. At the end of each seven years, make release. Deuteronomy 15.1 And then I got, scripturally, I was studying rightfully divide, study we're told to, we have to. Um, Deuteronomy 31.10 and Moses commanded, saying, at the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, in the Feast of Tabernacles. What? <laughs> what the feast? <laughs> it, and I looked at it, and it's the seventh feast. We know there's technically eight, but it's the seventh feast. That's, that caught my eye. I'm just sharing. Just sharing. Now, that happens depending on the calendars. On Monday, the 20th of September to Monday, the 27th of September. I'm, again, excited a little. Don't know the day. Don't know the hour. But Jesus said if we watch and keep watch, lest we may not know the day nor the hour. says if we watch then we may know the day or the hour. Let's take it as you want. Revelation 3, 3. So, now, I already discovered that the Rosh Hashanah that just went was not in the fall. Because the fall doesn't start in Israel till the 22nd of September to the 21st of December. So it doesn't start till the 22nd of September. Tabernacles starts on the 22nd of September to Monday the 27th of September I'm thinking are you thinking what I'm thinking I've got to be careful what I say here so <laughs> tabernacles two days into tabernacles is a very high watch in my opinion don't you think I should have done a graph on it when I get handy with the graphs I don't think I've got time then then, then I'll I'll do it for you so what am what am I what am, what's the bottom line on what I'm talking about? I got Rosh Hashanah. I don't know any more than that. And as I've said, that could have been every prophecy has to be tested, and that was a vision which is a prophecy. It has to be tested. So I do not know. Not everything I've heard has come absolutely accurate in the past, and I admit that because I journal it, and I don't normally share it. I've shared this one simply to keep lamps lit but what i'm bottom lining out here is that let me go back to the to do it again solemnity of the year of release in the feast of tabernacles deuteronomy 30 10 read it 30 10 verse 10 it's the seventh feast in the year Feasts are representative of Jesus. They, Jesus, they always worshipped. Jesus always worshipped. They went on these feasts. He was crucified on a feast. We know all that. That is Monday. The Tabernacles runs this year. Don't know if the calendars are out. 20th of September to Monday, the 27th of September, which puts it firmly in the fall in Israel, which is the 22nd of September to the 21st of December. That's interesting, don't you think? I'm just doing this short just to get an explanation out. I need to study more than do videos. So I do want to share because I am just as desperate as everybody else to go home. And I really mean that. I'm not doing this for some kind of fame thing or anything. I'm doing this because I really want to know. And I do it on video. I'm not a prophet. I'm not even a pastor. I'm not a vicar. I'm not a priest. I'm just in relationship with Jesus Christ where you should be. 
So confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord now, because what is coming is in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelations, from six onwards. And it's the judgments of both Jerusalem, Israel, or Israel and the world. And it's all in there. And then Christ will return. But we're going to be out of there, brothers and sisters. And this is worth a good coat of looking at, don't you think? Thumbs up this video if you do think it's a good idea. I, I will title it Rapture Watch because that's what it is. I will do more on the Shemitah years and understand them if we have the time. I will do it to the bitter end. But more importantly, I will get the gospel of salvation of Jesus Christ. That message needs to go out to everyone. Pass that on. Join us on Discord. Join us on the social media. I'll leave you this evening with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.